tell people what's up. I am joined with a very special guest, my own brother, Lee. Hello. We have been wanting to do this for a while. I would think of it as a collaboration between us called Two Bros Play. And hopefully this could be a series we have where we play different games together. Yeah, I've actually got a couple of games I've looked at and I thought make uh, make something interesting for a series. Sweet. So then it could, yeah, so then it could uh, possibly turn into like a long range series, maybe not just a couple offshoots, you know. All right. Ah, uh, this is I'm pretty much heading into this game kind of blind, but from what I know, it requires two people, and I believe we solve puzzles together but separated. If that makes yeah. any sense. Uh, yeah, from what I understand about the game, it's uh, one person is stuck in a library type room where they have the information on how to solve the puzzles, while the other person is actually in the uh, the area where the puzzles are, and they're trying to make it through cooperatively. What do you say? Yeah. And this is our first time playing. It's your first time, right? Uh, yeah, I actually haven't had a chance to peek into it myself, but this Sweet. But I've seen a few other people play it. Not much, not much though. All right, so first time for us then. Start game. Oh, that's us. went into the storm. We're here. Yep, this is our first try. Nothing went bad. Perfect. Yeah, totally. N absolutely, nothing went wrong. Like, I mean, totally. We we did not mess up a thing here. Oh, okay. I mean, uh, technically, but, uh, anyway. we weren't up out anyway, so ha. Huh? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so where are you? Let's see. I woke up in. A really strange room there's a door that's blocked with a gate and then there's a wall I'm pretty sure this is blood but it says the answer lies and then across from that there's a wall and then there's full of bricks and then some bricks have symbols on them okay what do the symbols look like okay let's see one looks like an M an M one looks and like an N with the right line curving at the bottom. Um, I see something kind of like that here, cause uh, you said that the ant, the uh, the the other wall says like the answer lies, right? Yes, yeah, so the a, answer lies. The there's a book here that says between the eyes, and there's a there's a chart over here that has um. Like an Illuminati eye up top, and it's a couple of eyes. And I see two symbols that match. That's like an M and an N. Alright, uh, there's th more though. Okay, so what else is there? There's an X with a circle on it. X with a circle. Then there's an A, but with an extra line going down in the middle. Part. Okay, I see that. I see that too. Then there is. There's a symbol that kind of looks like a heartbeat monitor going up. Um, is it kind of like a Z shape? I mean, if you look at it, it kind of looks like a backwards Z. 
It's like okay. goes up a little bit, then down a little bit, then there's like a giant line going up, and then goes down a little bit, and then it goes up a little. Oh, okay, yeah, I see that, I see that. And is the next one like an M with like two beams in the middle of it? It's kind of like an M, it looks like at the, the top of a cat's head with like two ears. Yeah. Yeah, I see that right here too, that's a pattern. And then there's... Basically it looks like a stick person and a circle. Stick person in a circle. Um. Or maybe think of it as an X, but with an extra line in the middle, and then a circle. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It's like a stick person, and it's like a circle with like three bars going through it. Yeah. Yeah, I see that too. Okay. There's so one. It... How do I describe this? I guess think of a sideways X, and then um like a sideways next X. To it. An X sideways, okay, um... And it's like in a wall, kind of. There's like two lines and then... It's like a sideways X. A sideways X. I think if you turn X sideways, it's still an X. Okay, it's an X <laughs> and two lines. An X and two lines, okay, um... I'm trying to figure this out, actually. Um, I'll see if I can find a different way to explain it. Uh, what's this here? Okay, imagine two lines going vertical, and then near the top is an X. Uh, okay, so there's two lines going vertically, and then up top there's an X? Yeah. Oh, so the cat head, again. I guess you could say it's kind of like a cat head. It looks like a, a cat with its ears and its head, and it's the back of its head. I could see that. Okay. Okay, oh. okay and then the other one was like uh, another heartbeat monitor. Yes. Yeah, I see that here too. And that's all of them. So. Okay, so the first was the M and the N. Then it was the X with the circle and the A with the T in the middle of it. Oh wait, am I supposed then to press we... them in that order? Yeah, I think so. Okay, um... Oh, wait, wait, there's an order? Like, what? what is the order that you're seeing? Oh Cause... no, I meant, I thought you meant, like, the order that you're saying them in. No, like, I'm looking at them from, from like, which ones we've seen. Okay, so it's M, N, X with an A, then it was the heartbeat monitor with the cat head. That was the cat head with the heartbeat monitor, is that right? Yeah. You saw four of them? Well, if we're going top to bottom, then it's going to be the stick... Oh wait, there was a stick person with an X, wasn't there? Yeah. The stick person with the X is on top. Yeah. So that's the first one. Then there's an, the X with the circle around it and the A with the T in the middle it will be after that. Then there is the M, and then the N. Then there's the cat head and the heart rate monitor. And then there's the heart rate monitor, then the cat head from top to bottom. Did that do anything? I feel like you just described every single symbol. Am I supposed <laughs> to press all of them? Well, I mean, like, that was how they're going from top to bottom. Like, I'm looking at I, a chart that has multiple different, uh, multiple different, uh, glyphs on in different patterns. I'm just telling you, like, <clears throat> Okay, I got the they stick person in a circle. Okay. Uh, stick person in a circle with the X. Then after that is the circle. X with a circle around it with an A in the middle. With the T in the middle of the A. Then you have the M and the N. Then there is the cat with the heart rate monitor, and then it's the heart rate monitor with the cat. After the N is the circle with the X inside. Okay, that's the one you need to hit. Okay. Hit the heart rate monitor at the end, and then the X with the circle in it, because I see a pattern there. There it is. You got. You oh, finished it. I got the achievement. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, there is. Like, if I had known... Okay, so basically, everything that just happened, cut all that out! <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, hey, it opened up a door for me, too. Yeah. 
I went into the room and the door closed. So it does, I guess, everything does uh, matter. Door didn't close for me, but... I guess everything does matter then, huh? Yeah, you have to be very specific. Because like, if I had known that, then yeah, I could have seen the pattern. Uh, um, so what kind of room are you in now? Let's see. Lots of candles everywhere. Another door blocked by a gate. On the floor, there is... A red square? Well, there's like... I want to say it's a carpet with a design on it. And then okay. on the wall to my left, there is... A display, and it has more symbols on it. Okay, I see... I Like, the room that opened up for me is a room... It's a circular room. There's a square... There's a square uh, rug in the middle with a like, flower in the center of it. And I see a bunch of paintings all around the circular room that have symbols at the bottom of them. There's one painting in my room. It's just a painting of... I'm pretty sure that's a pelican. Okay, what... Like, uh... A, it's a bird. Does it have, like, a... Is a snail shell on its back? It does have a snail shell on the back. Okay, yeah, I think I'm looking at... Is it... Are the symbols underneath it, like... It looks kind of like a surprised man. It looks oh, like a stick figure like... covering its eyes in a silo. Wait, under the portrait, there's three empty slots where I think is where I have to put the symbols that are on the display oh. here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you gotta do. I'm looking at that painting right now. Um, the the symbols you want to do, there's like a, the one on the far left looks like either a house with like three things sticking off the corners of it, or it looks like a very surprised person with a bald spot on top I of it. I see it. Yeah, you gotta put that on the far left. Okay. Then, um, whenever you do that... Did it. The, the one in the center looks like another stick man that's covering his eyes. I think I see it. Yeah, stick man covering his eyes. And the, uh, the last one? The last one looks kinda like a peepee. -pee or a silo. Take your pick. These descriptions, man. I'm gonna go with silo. <laughs> hey, listen, I told you I was going to make this fun. Um, but, uh, yeah, that, did that work? It didn't, actually. What? But Oh, oh I know why. I there, When you said the last one, there was another one that looked. I thought it was, but now I see the one you were talking about. So, wait. Oh, I got it looks like a silo two. that kind of has, like, a flag on top of it. The first one was... The dude that's super surprised with like a ball. I got the first two. Oh, I see the one you're talking about. Yeah, we're still going yeah, with Silo. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? That was. That didn't right. work. Okay, there. There is another thing that looks like a pelican that has a shell on its back. There's actually two. There's actually three of these things. Um. So yeah, I'm. There's actually four. Okay, so describe in perfect detail to me, like. Does it have like two beaks? The one like, I just did? The painting. No, the painting. Oh, Describe the painting. the painting to me. Does it have two beaks? Does it have something coming off the back of its head? Yeah, it's a smaller beak on the back. Okay, does it have like a tuft of hair coming off the top of it? Yeah, there's like a little strain of hair coming on top. Okay, and its tail is like really thick and wispy, right? Tail? I guess so. It's normal. It's white. It's Why, with like a blue streak in the middle? Uh, I want to say that's a blue streak. Okay, so wait, no, 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 because there are two paintings that have very similar heads. Is its tail pointing down or is its tail pointing up? It's pointing up. Okay, okay, okay. So I think that this is the one that I'm looking at. What the fuck are these symbols? Okay, so there's one that looks kind of like an F with two arrows going downward on it. I see it. Yeah. Then there's another one that looks kind of like a candelabra with three legs. Like, you know, a candle holder with, like, three legs. Oh. See it? Yeah, I see it. Okay, and now the next one looks kind of like that Pink Floyd album, but not exactly. Hold it's on, like I a pure... accidentally dropped it. I have to put it back. Okay. Third one... <laughs> Yeah, the third one kind of looks like that one Pink Floyd album that everybody wears on the t-shirts, except the pyramid doesn't have a light beam going through it. Like, the pyramid is upside down. There's, like, two beams going into the point of it, and it's going down. 
It kind of looks like a. Uh, <clears throat> is it? Looks like does a... the bottom look like an arrow pointing up? E yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Let's see if this is the right one. That's not it. No. I'll try the first two you mentioned again. Let's see the F. The kind of F thing with like two arrows pointing down. Oh my god, if I do it too far, it drops them. Okay, get close. And it can... I felt paranoid that there's actually something watching me in here. The music has gotten a little intense a few times. Yeah, uh, it's really... You know the one that you said was candle? Yeah, it's like candelabra. There's two different ones. Are they circle on top or the diamonds? Circle on top. Oh, that might be why. I chose a different one that looked just like it. Oh, yeah, you have to be very specific. My bad. Okay, I'll try the one that I tried last time. Maybe this is right. It works. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go see what I'm looking at next, because that was the only room we just opened up. i hearing a lot of sounds. Wow. Okay, that room is closed now. The music's calmed down. Oh, I found the other room that just opened. Calm down, I'm walking. Purple? I'm in like a dungeon now. Interesting. I'm in a room. There's, there's, uh, I go forward and then there's a stairs on the left. I go down and it's flooded and then the next door has the word purple but in green letters. And it's flooding. Oh okay, my god, purple, the room is flooding. Purple in green letters. Okay. Um, I, I think the room is flooding, dude. There we go. Yeah, I had to solve the puzzle that time. Oh. We got it. Yeah, there were like, I actually went down into a dungeon and like the bottom was flooded and there were three pipes. One was uh, blue, red, and yellow. I was like, purple? Okay, let's try this. But then you said in green layers, I'm like, mm. So I'm gonna go with purple instead of green. <laughs> okay, so uh, what's your next thing? I'm in a really short hallway. There's just a stone switch on the floor and that's it. The door won't open though. Stone switch on the floor. Um, I'm confined into this hallway. Is there anything in that hallway? Uh, just the door I came from. The door ahead of this... me. Wait, does it and open? This... Oh, it opens. Never mind. Okay, I was like, there must be something to it. Oh, I thought it was just confining me there. Okay, this is a switch. I found something. Oh. Okay. I'm in a hallway now. There's a switch for two gates. If I open the switch, the gate in front of me opens, but the one next to it closes. Ahead of me, it says... Bring down the... Gilding? Bring down the... Bring. Gilding light? Guiding light? Bring down the guiding light. I don't think there's a way to me to get past the second gate, though. Did that do something? No. I just hit a switch. Also, I don't know if it means anything. Uh, both gates and the switch also have like a white jewel on them. Okay, I'm actually looking at a map and now it's glowing. Hit the switch real quick. Alright, I'll go back out and hit the switch. Okay, I'm outside the first gate. Okay, hit the switch. Hit. Okay, that didn't seem to do anything. Yeah, because this map is making sounds. Um, I'm seeing that you go in and there's like... A, a gate, and then there's a gate after that in the hallway? Yeah. Okay. Har it's Har it's Let me I go forward, and then the next hallway is from left to right. 
I think that that I think I'm supposed to turn that switch down. Okay, so hit your switch again. All right. Because the switch that's in my in my library was white as well. Oh, I was able to get through. Yeah, yeah. See, I had to hit my switch and then you hit yours. Okay, so oh, you should be at a crossroads, right? A left or a right? Yeah. Okay, so um, what I'm looking at is that to your left, uh, going either up or downstairs, and then you turn right, going up or downstairs, and then you go down another hallway. Then to your right there. And then a left, there's going to be a door, a gate there with a blue on it. So wait, are you turning turn left? Uh, actually, no. Go back to the. I haven't um, moved. I'm still in the middle where the letters, where it says bring down the guiding light. Uh, on my yeah, okay. left, there looks at the end of the hallway on the left, there looks to be like a statue of a person, and on my right, there is, I want to say that's a painting or a picture. Okay. Um. Just like. Go to the second gate that you just walked through, where the first crossroads is, and turn right. Okay, turn right. And on. then, and then, like, go down a ways. There should be like stairs to your right. You see those? Yeah. There's a blue X there on the far side of the room. Do you see anything there that's blue? Uh, ahead of me, there's a blue switch. Hit that blue switch. <laughs> I really hope these statues don't come to life. I don't think they do. I hit the blue switch. I don't think anything okay. happened. Go back to where you were, like the first first instruction. Oh, shit! Uh, the fucking thing just went out. I have to go hit the switch again. Okay, I'm back where I started. Give me a second. I think I have to. I had to hit the switch again so I could see the map. Okay, yeah. Okay, so. Now take now go to the left down those down or up those stairs to that room and then okay, on your stairs. right there should be more stairs going up. There should be more stairs on your right. Yeah, right over they there. go up. Okay, I just go saw up there. Something on the floor crawling away. Okay, just uh, go up there and then you're gonna come to a cross section. When you go there, turn right and took and look to your left. Do you see a gate up there? Yeah. There's a gate there. Well, I mean, it's opened. Okay, go through that gate. Because that, that's why you hit the blue switch, because the blue switch had control over that. Okay. Okay, now once you go past those stairs, in that room that you're in, there needs to be a green switch. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. Okay, now down those stairs, do you see a gate? Do I touch the switch or no? Uh, just... Just uh, let, is the gate down the stairs open or lo open or closed? I see it. It's open. Okay, hit the green switch. Okay. Is it is it closed now? Let me check. Yes, it's closed. Okay, now I need you to go back to the blue switch. Okay. Just make your way back to the blue switch. You need the way back, right? Yeah. Okay, so just go back there, and hit the blue switch again. <clears throat> Oh shit, hold on. Whenever you get to the blue switch, do not move. Okay, yeah, hit that again. And now, when you are in that room, turn around, go out the, go past the stairs, but do not go left, go right, and then down that hallway all the way around. Until, like, right. until you hit, until you're supposed, you should go right, left, uh, left downstairs or upstairs and you should go through a gate okay right right I can take a left down someone ran in this hallway okay you're probably gonna see that all right, right so go to you're gonna go through the hallway there's a blue there should be a gate there do you see it uh hold on I just passed it oh it doesn't have a color on it if there, well, I mean, it shouldn't have a club, but just go past it, yeah. and there's more stairs. Now, go into that room. Um, Forward or left? Or right? Uh, go go to the left, and then take a right. Oh, shit. But go down that hallway, but do not go very far. I have to go turn the light back on. 
I have I actually have to like hit a switch every time you do something in order to I did not mean to hit that. Uh, okay, so you went to the left into the room and you went right down the hallway. Did yeah. you see a gate down some stairs or up some stairs? I see a gate on my left going to is it, some stairs going down. Is it open or closed? Open. Okay, go through it. Okay. Now take the left. Can you go to the stairs on the right? Yeah. Okay. They go up. Uh, okay, is there a second set of stairs right next to them? Done. Then go down the stairs. The gate should be open, and there should be a gate on your left. Go through that gate, and that's how you get out. Do you see it? I think so. Yeah, we got like, a checkpoint reached. I got a checkpoint reached, yeah. Yeah, Guiding Light Dungeon Master. Yeah, I've got I've got the wheel on, so go ahead and fire up the machine. But by now you've just recognized the pattern, right? I think so. Alright. And if it resets, just let me know and I'll tell you what to do. <clears throat> okay, machine's powered. All right. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna start the projector. But yeah, it's you know it's like uh, on the white side, it's the fourth one from the right goes up two spaces. On the black side, it's the fourth one from the left goes up two spaces. Then you're gonna grab your bishop and put it diagonally. I'm up. at the okay. I'm at the part where I'm gonna move the queen. Okay. Okay. Queen's moved. Now next, you grab the knight that was behind the black pawn that you just moved yeah and put it directly to the left of that pawn Done. okay now you're gonna grab the queen again and you're just going to send her to the pawn on the opposite side of the board from her yeah it's red for me so i guess that means do it yeah do that it destroyed him there, there you go you put you put the king in the checkmate <clears throat> got it uh, okay so now we reached another checkpoint. Okay, so where are you at now? Okay, I'm inside now. There's okay, so a stand that was easy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I made it so hard. No, that's all right. I mean, if you haven't played chess in a, in a long time, it's kind of easy to remember what the pieces. Easy to forget what the pieces are. Yeah. But but hey, it's it's then. you didn't you totally didn't forget what the pieces were. I mean, we we totally got that the first try. Like <sighs> there there were no fuck ups, none at all. No 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 no. It was flawless from start to finish. It, it, exactly, <laughs> totally, completely, absolutely no fuck ups. 
Okay, so now where are you? Okay, there's a, there's a stand with a book on it. It's open to... It has uh, two pages that have symbols on them, and then... Ahead of me, there is... A platform with different squares, and on each side, there's arrows sticking up. Which means I think I can only go through the... The... Through the platform with all those... Spaces. And then okay. after the spaces is the door to get out. Okay, so I think that I know what we're on now. Uh, what do the symbols on the book look like? <clears throat> Alright, I'll do it from left to right. Okay. Um, wow, how do I describe this first one? Uh, the first one is... A cat face on a line. Okay, and the next one looks like a dick and balls. I wasn't gonna use that, but yeah. And the next one kind of looks like a semicircle with like a lollipop sticking out from the middle of it and a curled yeah. up thing. Yeah. Next one's like a, uh, a a stick man with like circles for hands and a circle for head, and he's got like three legs. Yeah. The next one's like the screaming face with like hair sticking out the corners. Yeah. Okay, that was an easy find. Uh, let me turn this around so I can read it. Before. Before one starts in the east, take one step westward. Okay, so go to the far right. Okay. Do not step on the do not step on the platform on the far right. Go go to the block on the left of the one on the far right. <clears throat> okay. Then go two platforms forward. One, two. <gasps> Did you die? Yeah, the second one had that killed me. Oh. Okay, well, then this one fucks up. Oh no, the symbols changed. Oh great, what are they? Okay, this time it's the same cat face, but instead, think of it as its body and arms. Okay, and then the next one's a silo? Yeah. And then, like, the third, the fourth one's like another stick man with circles for hands, and it's like the, other, the last one's like a, bo a robot bob sledding. Yeah. Okay, found this book too. Uh. Surprised you're dying so. Surprised I didn't get reset for you dying. Um. Starting in the far west corner, one moves north thrice. So go to the far west and move. So the far to right? The west is to the left. Oh. Do I step on it? Uh, go forward three times. One, two, three. Okay. Now, walk backwards one step. Okay. One. But not before taking two. Okay, so actually go back to where you were just standing. Okay. Uh, take two steps east, which is to the right. <clears throat> One, two. Okay. Now t then take a step back. Okay. One. Then. Was that? Yeah, I did yeah, it. Yeah, just go. Just one, and now go all the way to the right wall. All the way to my right. All the way to your right. Okay. Down. And then go all the way forward. Okay. Are you are you on the other side now? Yeah. Okay, that's it. Go through the door. That one was actually really easy. You actually might ha not have to cut any of that out. Well, uh, not like you had to cut anything out before now, of course. Of course, no, that was solid perfection. Oh, oh shit. To um. Okay. Scene uh, one. Bloodlight. Oh. There's a switch that says bloodlight. And then blood ahead light? of me. There's six switches. And then next to the. Next to the display with the six switches says. There's this thing that says scene one with a white. A white switch. Um, I'm in front of a stage, so and then hit I'll... some of the switch, hit some of the switches, and see what they do. Okay. Oh, I can hit my left or right. Let's try it. 
That didn't really do anything. How do I go out of this? Okay, that's off. I don't know, think anything happened. No, nothing happened on this side. Hit some other switches. So you said scene one is floodlights? No, scene one has a a switch with a white a white switch. And if okay. I right to the left, there's a thingy that has six switches. Okay, so hit the white switch. See okay. what happens. It, I think it went back up. Let me hit it again. Yeah, it just goes down and up. Okay, well, there is one thing on this side of what I'm looking at. Let's see. This one it glows. Oh, never mind, it doesn't. Okay, so hit a bunch of switches. Because I'm listening to the audio. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ, it scared me. I found the other thing. You can hit that hit that other switch that you just hit. Oh, the fuck. The first one? The marionette, the marionette finished, finished the, scene. the scene. Oh, oh I, died. I died. Oh. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I do not want to do that again. Oh, no. Oh, f no. I swear it back Not... into the previous run. <sighs> well, you know, there's always the possibility of a part two. There is. Cut it there. <laughs> <laughs> just cut the cut the recording. Cut it just like, well, part two later on, though, everybody. Part, part two. two uh, with... The greatest better part, ever. Uh, part two in like uh, whenever, sometime after this one goes up. Uh, everybody enjoy. Glad you glad you watched. If Have you made it this night. far into the video, <laughs> if you made it this far into the video, uh, thanks. I'm surprised. I mean, we're not that entertained, but thank you. No, honestly. Hope you all enjoy. If anyone watches this, show some love to my amazing brother Lee. He has well, uh, incredible patience for me, and I owe him a lot. But, uh, well, thank you. And, uh, anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed watching. Hope you all, uh, t tune in for the, uh, next episode. Whenever it comes out. Hopefully soon. Hopefully Bye. soon. Sayonara. Good night.